InfoWatch tonight coming full circle. Medical reporter Dina Beer has more on a police horse helping a first responder focus on mental health. After years spent protecting the city streets, a former member of the mounted unit is taking a new path, and he's not alone. This is a story of new beginnings for two retired police horses and their continued commitment to service. Police say the 15-year-old boy was walking when a car pulled up and someone opened fire. What you see oftentimes is not great. <laughs> it's very stressful. Chicago firefighter, 20 years. Everything that we're going through and the things we see on the street and depending where you're at, there's some areas in the city that see definitely a lot more tragic things. Out here, it's different. We've got a lot of adults who have a lot of anxiety. Like the first time I rode, I'm like, he's huge. But then you see some of these other horses in here and I'm like, oh, they're really yeah. big. This is where Tracy Hill comes to de-stress, New Beginnings Therapeutic Riding Foundation. And it's where she connects with a fellow first responder. And just remember, we put both hands here and we'll go up and over. Perfect. Bozak is so sweet that I don't know how he was a, a police horse <laughs> because he's so darn sweet. And we'll pull that left rein just a little bit to steer him to the left. Before Bozak arrived at the South Suburban Palos Hills facility, the 22 year old quarter horse worked for the Chicago Police Department. The fact that, you know, we've been in very stressful positions. I think that somehow we have that connection. I don't know how that works, but <laughs> it's kind of cool that him and I can bond over like, okay, now we can just chill out for a little while and connect and be at peace. Easy walk, nice and relaxed. He's named for William Bosak, a policeman killed in the line of duty in 1979. All horses in the mounted unit are named for fallen officers. I'm not comfortable at riding horses. Uh, you could probably tell. <laughs> and Bosak knows it. Nice and relaxed, nice deep breath. Bosak will feel that as well as you start to relax a little bit with him too. You kind of let them be vulnerable with them because they have to give up a lot of trust with this thousand pound animal. You're so loving. You're such a lover. Because of Bozak's temperament, because he's so sweet and peaceful, it makes it so much easier. So him kind of letting me know constantly what he needs, but being gentle about it helps so much. Bozak's not the only former police horse serving as a therapy animal at New Beginnings. Fahey was a solid presence on the streets for years. You know, he's seen and done it all. So he could go out there and if we needed to move a crowd or pose for a picture, you knew that Fahey could do the job and he would do it well. You could put anybody on him. He has definitely a personality of a, a, of a grandpa. William Fahey would have enjoyed being a grandfather had he lived past the age of 34. Everybody who knew and loved him. Erin Fahey Kelly was four years old when her father died in the line of duty. He's so deserving. <laughs> her children, still too young to understand what happened to their grandfather. I just tell them that he would love them so much. He would be so happy to be a grandpa. Officer Fahey, along with patrolman Richard O'Brien, were shot while conducting a traffic stop both died from their injuries. We knew it was a precarious job, and we were always worried about him, about that day maybe happening, and um, it did in February of 82. His extended family and members of the Chicago Mounted Unit recently gathered to help the service horse celebrate. He was named Thoroughbred of the Year in honor of his equine therapy work. There's lots of different ways my dad's memory has been honored, but having a horse is pretty unique. We're proud that he carries the Fahey name. Not all police horses are cut out for therapy. Or that walk looks really nice there, Tracy. Good job with the steering with him. I like how you're sitting nice and tall. But Fahey and Bosak are naturals. When I see the work like here, I get kind of choked up, you know, and it makes me feel, he's doing all the work, but I feel really special, you know, that I was a part of it. They've done their service with helping on the streets and making sure everyone is safe, and now they come here and they have their turnouts and their free time, but when it's time for work, they'll jump in and do their service again and take care of the riders. Having a connection with the animal really helps my stress. I forget, you know, you're out here and this beautiful land and you forget that the city is super close and you forget that you have the stress that you have at work. All right. Good ride today. That was awesome. So good job, Todd.
If you'd like to learn more about equine therapy or how you can support the New Beginnings program, we have a link on our website. Back to you.